Click Stuff is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at LuckyDiceCafe.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstoff today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everyone know that Clickstoff is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com. Find hero clicks new and old at Trollandtoad.com, the world's largest hero clicks retailer. Save five percent off your order of hero clicks when you use coupon code Clickstoff at checkout. Merchant and pre-order items do not apply. Shop Trollandtoad.com for all your hero clicks needs. And if you like what you're hearing today on Clickstoff, consider supporting us on Patreon.com forward slash Clickstoff. One dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. Five dollars and above gets entered into our Discord server and exclusive Hero Clicks classes. Also, check us out at Facebook.com forward slash Clickstoff, where our current giveaway is up of a brick of Captain America and the Avengers, including a Chase store. So that's running through February 28th. 9th 2020 because it's leap year so go check that out uh three different ways to enter listed out on our pinned post there and joining me today is jason not quite sure what he's going to play saturday alvi yep i just don't know (laughs) i haven't played it a long time i don't know what to do and tyler finally tried something else other than whale's fees yeah, you couldn't use the same title for me. I'm not sure what I'm going to play either. Oh, man. Well, I'm judging Saturday, so... You don't have to worry about it. Um, so, I thought for today that we had um, a kind of... I don't know. We didn't really have a much of a set agenda. I kind of want to talk about some of the WKOs we went to. Um, and uh, But there's a lot to talk about team team-wise team build wise um and especially the first weekend of flappy bird being down Mm -hmm. um so i think let's just hop in and say you know what we talked we jason hasn't played in a wko this month but me and you have played in two so far Mm -hmm. um so first weekend tyler what did you play and how did you do uh, first weekend, I went to Heroes and Games in Columbus at the Convention Center where Origins is held. I uh, played Wales, and I won with Wales. Um, I went 3-2 and two in Swiss, but then I, I pulled it out. I, I think it was like... I think it was the 8th seed going in, so I barely made it. But What did you learn? I learned... That vulture is still scary because I lost him and uh, unthemed in uh, Swiss, and also dice manipulation is scary. Those are the two things that I'm real that I'm worried about right now. Yeah. Uh, so first weekend I went to a sealed WKO in Greenwood, Indiana, at Hometown Comics. Um, I got second place, uh, losing to a Captain Marvel super rare that I beat in Swiss, but lost to in the finals. I had uh, I'd posted my pools on the Clickstoff Facebook page. Um, I ended up playing uh, Sharon, Shifting Focus, Iron Man, the Energy Exploding One, Singularity, and Quake. I was 25 points underbuilt. <laughs> um, but the theme and the theme team probs helped me out immensely. So I was able to control map. I think I won map every game. Um, so I went to either Poison Ivy's Greenhouse or, I uh, forget the other one that I went to, uh, maybe just a Muck Time. Yeah, Muck Time was the other one. Um, so I was, uh, um, undefeated, right? So I went, uh, three rounds of Swiss and then top four, uh, so four rounds to the final game and, uh, couldn't beat that Captain Marvel. So Captain Marvel's really good in Sealed. Yes, she is. Um, 
Yep. So second weekend, we went to the same. We, me and Tyler went to the same place. Um, what'd you do? What'd you play? How'd you do, Tyler? I played Hellfire Club, and I had a lot of fun. But I went uh, two and two, and missed cut by like fifty points to Jalen Major, which was extra sad. Why is it extra sad? Because it's Cause Jalen. Because it's Jalen. <laughs> I don't want like to lose to Jalen. <laughs> Oh, man. And Jalen was not playing uni. He was not. You would think he grabbed every mystical piece out of his box and played it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. He had Prime Colossus on his team. Um, but we had 16 players in Lexington, so that was a pretty good turnout uh, compared to some of the other events that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, So I played uni Lockjaw, and... We went four rounds, top eight, and I went undefeated the entire day and won the event. And I handed Tyler one of his L's, unfortunately. You did. It was closer than I thought it would be, because it's not the best matchup. Right. And I could have played the matchup a little bit better, too, um, in hindsight. So um, I got a little bit more insight into how the uh, Hellfire Club worked. Going to keep your uni away from Wonder Woman? From now on? Yeah. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah, that was annoying. I was yeah. like, huh, I guess I take one unavoidable for not breaking <laughs> away from her. My Wonder Woman, yep. That was pretty oh, fun. Boy, that's exciting. The team is very fun. I definitely learned a lot, so I, I would play it better next time. Well, do you think you're going to play it this weekend at Big Bang? I don't know, man. It's I want to because it's fun, but driving four hours to not make cut just would suck. <laughs> so I want to play something that I'll do well with you know well let's talk about the looming threat of the flappy bird then yeah so vulture did not win any events last weekend nope um there wasn't a ton out there as many as we thought there would be yeah a lot of people didn't play it Mm -hmm. um i don't know if it's just like not enough practice with it or maybe just like the stigma of vulture you know? Yeah, people still want that stink on them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, PJ played Vulture and went to top four in uh, South Bend. Was so he I, undefeated in Swiss, too, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he beat several teams that were standard kind of mm-hmm. archetype teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that made their top four. I think they had two Ultra Thanoses and PJ's team. Mm-hmm. And I forget. I don't know what the fourth one was. Um, and yeah, he said he we, played a lot of one-man army type teams too, which is not Vulture's best matchup. Yeah, but PJ pulled out the win. Mm-hmm. So um, now he said his opponent hit three consecutive sixes on Precision Strike Super Senses. Right. Yeah. Um, so I probably give PJ good odds to win that whole event. Mm-hmm. Um, not taking away from Denny that did win the event. Right. Um, you know, so, I mean, dice or dice, you can hit three consecutive sixes on, you know, shape change super senses. It happens. That's why you play super senses. That's why you play yep. it. Um, which is funny because Storm went to go pulse wave my uni. Um, yeah, I heard about this. And uh, I was like, okay, you hit. I was like, super senses, and I hit it. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, super sensing out of a pulse wave is just one of the most spectacular <laughs> things on this planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. I was like, cool. Well, that I mean, that's why I played it. TJ was a little bit sad, but I was like, man, that's why I picked the power. That's why I do the thing. Yep. Um, you know, he was playing Alex Wilder, and, um, you know, I, I played against Alex enough to know what powers to give him win and that sort of thing. Um, so, but... So I think PJ in general like went through the non-swarmy archetypes um, in South Bend, um, and then I almost lost a Vulture. Um, so that's up on stream on uh, our Clickstuff YouTube channel, uh, the first part of uh, Lexington Swiss Rounds. Um, he popped my uni turn two. Yeah. Which it's, is... Uh... Typically not a good thing for me. Nope, I would agree with that. Um, 
Yeah, that but was super close. He killed your Thanos too after that, right? He killed my Thanos, but he couldn't get the kill shot on Cersei or Star Fox. Uh, and he was ahead most of that game until I KO'd um, Phil Coulson there at the end. Right. So I think I only won about 40-something points. Um, so we got questions from from Zach Strong. Let's see, who all asked about Vulture? Uh, Zach Strong asked about it. Um, Rick Ryan mentioned it. Um Maddie G asked about it. Um, so let's just talk about Matt's question. Um, is the Lucas? So this is a very long thing. It sounds like it's very complicated to be on the Phoenix Nest team. Mm-hmm. Um, so his question is: Is Lucas's Tri Sentinel team that I won the Chicago WKO with two weeks ago, or the George Massu team that Wesley Allen Summers won a WKO with two weeks ago? still viable after Captain America release. Should everyone be afraid of Vulture, even though it didn't win an event in its first week legal? Um, so, uh, is Lucas, so let's start out. Is Lucas's Tri-Sentinel Swarm team still valid? I think, um, I think that Lucas can beat someone with it who is playing Vulture, but I don't think you can just pick it up and play it in beat vulture with it does that make sense if if lucas wins <laughs> map i think lucas can win with it mm. if lucas loses map i don't think he has a chance um so let me think well if he loses map they're going what open map right yeah outdoor open no barrier to help <laughs> right um so he would have mm, he would equip turn one, turn two. See, I just don't know. I don't know the trick. Does he have like maybe a full map breach thing? I can't think of one. What like Lucas have full map breach? Yeah. For what? I don't even know what a call in or something. To do what? I don't know. Shoot vulture with a cyclops with, <laughs> with, his, sure. with his first turn immunity. Um. Yeah, he'd have to bury her first turn, but then... But then he can... Like, if you're killing three Wendigos, three Tri-Sentinels, and then using your built-up charges to go against um, the barrier and then the, the Stranges with Precision Strike? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then I you, don't... Should, you should still have an action left over if you don't kill the Strange <laughs> to go take Mystics and then retail with the Giant Girl or... Even a Magneto can reach with his 11 range. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> I, um, yeah. So, so I, I think I want to be clear here. Not winning doesn't mean your team shouldn't be prepared for it. Like, I'll make another example here. You should know how to beat a full point uni mine with your team. Right, yeah. Because it's not really winning anything this WKO season, but if you hand your new guy a full point uni and say, set in stealth and perplex up your defense to a 22 or 21 or whatever, and just hope you don't get hit, do you have a plan for that on your team? Right, yeah, and I, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. I didn't until I lost to it. Um Right, like you do, right? With Wales and Gene and stuff have plans for that. Mm. Um, but not every team does. Right. So well, that's where practice yeah. comes in for sure. Yep. So like George's team was like Black Adam and Lockjaw. Um was it? I think so. I don't uh, know. They didn't, they didn't really post it. I don't think that's what Wes was playing. Let's see if I can find it. Where did he post that? Uh, what's that group called? Uh, I thought I think Wes was like Black Adam, Trelane, Oz, Wendigo, Tri Sentinel, something like that. I'm pretty sure. So yes and no then. So the 
the dice manipulation team can beat Vulture. Um, but with a 14 attack, that's pretty good. <laughs> you gotta, yeah, yeah you, you know, gotta hope for, for real good, like a five or like a six, basically, on Dice Map or like a couple ones. Right, you gotta yeah. hope for, okay, so here's the team. Yeah, it's Oz, Black Adam, Trey Lane, Magneto, Wendigo, Tri Sentinel. Yeah, that's what Tommy was playing in. Um, so, so, here's the thing. So you should be you you have a very good okay. So Trelane doesn't do super senses, right? No, nope. he has no. some. He doesn't do it. He has yeah. the thing. Okay, so if you just go flurry precision strike on Oz, there's forty. Um, because Vulture has full map reach with a four square TK. I'm saying you TK out the six. Oz moves you back to you sidestep and then you charge. And I see. Uh, yeah. So you can TK him out four. Magneto moves him one. You sidestep and then you charge for eight. Does that? Oh, if you, so wait. Okay. And then you have giant reach two. So that's so four, out. five. That's four, five, seven, eight is fifteen plus two is seventeen. You start two rows. You start four rows off. So that's row twenty-one, which should be the starting area. Of a ha ha hacienda. Yeah, if they if they place a forward up, um, otherwise you would need a sidestep. The second, right. like the second oh. sidestep. But this team fills a starting area. The tri oh, that team to go. Sure. Yeah, you're right. yeah. So the thing is, is like the team is good. Like Black Adam's good, Trey Lane's good, Oz is good. So you've got a prob, high enough defense. But if they can get the tri sentinel, the magneto, the Wendigo, and the Oz. The rest of the shield team can mop up a Black Adam and a Trey Lane. And you got to remember, too, that if Trey Lane gets hit, right, and he just dies, you can just knock him up against the wall. You may not get, you won't get the charge rebuilt, but he's still dead. Yeah, and, I right. think, and I think the rest of the team can mm-hmm. handle Black Adam. So there's lots of squishy stuff on this team. Um,. In general, right? So, and it's going to win map most yeah, likely. It's it's, the, it's an yeah, eight to a zero. Yeah, it's most likely going to win map. Um. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's squishy. I'm I mean, I don't want to like. I'm sure you know. And this is yeah, this is not discounting players that play these teams. It would have know. to. I think it would have to tech stuff in to beat it. Maybe like barrier in some form or or something. Yeah, it has to be barrier. I can't even think of what else it would be. Um, I mean, you know, like an orange Proteus, like that gives Earthbound, mm-hmm. or what? You can't turn on the improved movement and stuff. Yeah. Um, like that's a good option to beat Vulture. Um, but let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, McConnell Lamar um, said. Hold on, let me pull up his question. McConnell Lamar said, is Ferengi salvage crew an option? Um, and unfortunately, it's not. So, unless you win map. So, with the blue Phoenix call in, you get a 13 range TK. Effectively, yeah. Because of the shield guys. No, no, you call her two squares out, mm. so she she occupies six. You give her 13 square reach with the shield agents. She's you know, I'm, so she's yeah. up to square 19, so you just TK the stolen mm. object, because you still have to place it outside of five. Sorry, well, five. no, because on, on those, on the four square things, they can put them to the side, right? They could put it to the side, but... That's still 19 plus 6. That's row 25. No, no, no. I'm no, sorry, no. 13, 13 plus 6 is 19. Yeah, so I, I think you're safe there. Mm-hmm. Um, but in that case, you know, there are other maps where you can just play it forward. Like, you can just put it on a muck time. You can place that team on a muck time. Mm-hmm. So it would so be 2, place her in 4, with yeah. a 13 range would be 17. That I think that's enough, right? I think so. 
Yeah, so two plus five. Math is hard. Let me look at the map real quick. I think it's just enough or one short. Maybe Ferengit Salvage Crew is the answer. Let me count here. So <laughs> place her here, plus 13. So four is 17. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five. You're actually one square short. Right. Because Phoenix only has a 10 range. Um, yeah, so maybe Ferengi Salvage Crew is the answer. It's an answer. but Well, I mean, no, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. In that case, you can just call out Magneto. Because Magneto has sidestep and TK. It's, yeah, but it's not. He only has eight range. You're not he only has eight range. Yeah. Well, so if he calls out in four, sidesteps to six. Free places himself to eight. Free places himself to eight. Well, no, because he only free places himself to seven. No, it's in an adjacent square, so you can do two. Well, if he call, if he gets called out in three four sidesteps to five six, how can he go to eight? Oh, I think you'll be you'll poop him. Well, no, because he could sidestep carry the person that called him in. Yeah, then you can do it. You can place him so, four, sidestep to six, and then free free place to eight. It's like a sidestep thing. I was placing a six. Eight is not adjacent to six though. No. But it's adjacent to seven, so if you put his back square in seven, his front square will be an eight. That makes sense. Okay, I get what you're saying now. And then pl- you can perplex up the range eleven to go to square nine. <laughs> so it's basically yeah, but that's the same. No, no, you can go eight. Eight plus eleven is nineteen, which is four squares out of the starting area. Eight plus oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, because yes. you got you just got perplexes to range that work just fine. Right. You don't have to use the shield team abilities when I'm playing. So, yeah, no. So the answer is, if they're smart enough, Magneto will just be fine. Well, no, that's not even true. Uh, he can do it, because you can block it once you once you get it. Oh, you're su- are we assume- we're assuming we lost map here. No, no, I'm assuming that you win map. That Vulture wins map. Yes. Yeah. Because a Ferengi salvage crew has robot, but there's not that high of a robot team right now. Yeah, so, yeah, you're right. He'll win. It sh- um, statistically should win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you like get a I, map, for sure. I feel, yeah, like, yeah. feel like I always have to add that, and that that also is a good point. Always pack three maps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh, debatable. Well, no, so Ferengi Salvage Crew is Pirate and Ferengi. Oh, okay, Pirate's coming back. Yeah, so <laughs> that's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Um, to win map with. Um, so yeah, a little off the cuff math there. Thanks for stepping through us. So. Um, I don't think that works. Then. Um, okay. Yeah, I just don't know, man. So I don't know if there's a you know a guaranteed way to, you know, get to stop him, right? So- yeah, to play a squishy team. Yeah. So. Unless you have a plus thirteen map roll. Then and then let then plus. let's then let's well let's stop. The, I want to make one more point on Vulture, and then I want to talk about the new plus thirteen map. Um, team. Um, there is also the option that Harrison Fordyce posted of tanking your own Ant Man <laughs> and average fish. Yeah. Because, so this is a good. This is another ruling exploit situation, where um, the damage from the tank is considered to have come from the guy that dropped the tank. Mm-hmm. So that means that if Vulture KOs a bunch of stuff with the tank, he gets to build those charges because his thing does not say KO opposing characters. If he KOs his own dudes, he gets to build charges. So for those that are curious, on the Bifrost, you can uh, kill the Ant-Man from ABPI. Yes. And then you're also making Super Friends uh, Aquaman on a seahorse who can make four fishies a turn. Yeah. Um, 
and makes four fishies a turn and then you just get to build eight charges in which to go across the map kill things um bust down barriers and then have the blood axe now yeah. and i think what's neat about that is that is if your opponent comes across the map um and they have let's just say you lose map and don't get to go to the bifrost um if you don't get to go to the bifrost um you can also just tank their character and then tank your own average fishes and your own giant girls. Yeah, that's a lot harder. <laughs> it's a lot harder if you lose map, but that team can do it depending on the options, right? So, you know, let's let's think about like uh, this plus this Sentinel theme team that uh, Wiz Kids mentioned today of Paris's. Um, so what did he did he post what he played? Yeah, it was um, Bastion was a hundred, um, Cyclops Sentinel at fifty, Bolvar Trask at thirty five. He played a Tri Sentinel at one Tri Sentinel thirty. He played uh, a regular Uncommon Sentinel at thirty three on the Plasticity Perplex clicks, and then he played seven Friends of Humanity. Well, he played the Trask guy, right? Yeah, Bolvar Trask. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Interesting team. It is. Now, I have, a, I have a couple of thoughts here on this one. Now, against Vulture, in and of itself, um, if it wins map, like, that's way too much nom-nom bait for Vulture without even any object. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> let's, say that it, let's say that it wins map. Or the Sentinels win map, which it statistically should, because it's like a 12 or a 13, right? This was a 13, so it'll be like plus 5 or 6 against Vulture. Yeah, easily. 4 to 6, uh, something like that. Right, yep, yep. So, now, I'm assuming that it's probably going to go to, like, Ancient Hold? Probably. Yeah, I think that's what he was playing. Yeah, and I, it's yeah. like... It's like one of the few teams that's probably not terribly worried about Ancient Hold. Unless that team can fill up an entire room on Ancient Hold. I mean, <laughs> maybe. Um, but, like can it get, but can it get there in one turn is really the question. Yeah, and I'm probably not. But even then, um, yeah, maybe. Man, it's just hard to think about this on the fly. Uh, I'm looking here. So it can it can fill up one of the side rooms because humanity, humanity, big guy, little guy, little guy, big guy, big guy, little guy, little guy. So it could fill up one of the left-hand rooms, one of the rooms right outside the left or the right of the starting area. Mm-hmm. And, but it can't do it in one turn. It can do it in two. And even then, what do you... I mean, you got to do something at some point. Right, so it's like, you know, if it does fill up, that means it can't generate anymore, so it's not generating any more offense. Um, and that's the kind of thing with that team is how does it generate offense? The main thing would be the the, the Bastion mind controlling the Cyclops then, all right? And then you get two big attacks with them. Okay. I'm I'm following you. <laughs> yeah, I mean okay. he's got but, he's only got the, one perplex though, so I I'm just not I don't know why. But now the Cyclops Sentinel doesn't ignore hindering for line of fire. No, it, it does ignore blocking though. So. It does ignore blocking. It doesn't ignore hindering. Mm-hmm. Um, so stealth causes it problems. Yeah, but scent or what's his face? Vulture doesn't have stealth, right? No, I'm just thinking about in general. No. I'm, I'm doing two different lines of thought. This team oh, okay. in general and this team versus Vulture. You uh, could just say it's a pretty negative matchup against Vulture. I it may like be, fair. but I, I think it is. I mean, like the Ancient Hold map can definitely be exploited to some extent. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think that my math says that it could... 
fill it up. That sounds right. I mean, um, it should be able to. But, I, you know, it doesn't do it in one turn, and you can't generate it anymore. So maybe, best case, it's a 0, zero loss. But I think you could probably set up a Cyclops shot from the um, um, the Vulture team. For, from the Vulture team? Yeah, the Vulture team could set up a Cyclops shot to shoot in that room. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, probably. Yeah. And if they have the tank, which they should, that would be devastating. I mean, they yes. got a perplexus. Yeah, Cyclops drop the tank, then go to town with Vulture. Right. Um, yeah, that's not great. Yeah, because those Friends of Humanity are only a 16. And I don't see any defend on this team to get it much higher. No. So, um, you know, it's it's one of those things like this team can continually pump out offense. But I can also just see that offense just bleeding points. Right. It's, a, it's a bleeding points offense. Mm-hmm. Um, what else have we seen that's done that recently? Um, Nate played a team that did that. The Robins. <laughs> the Robins. I forgot about the Robins team. Yeah, the Robins, the Robins that blew up, right? Yeah. Um. Oh man, that would be bad if uh, the Sentinel team faces the face the Chase Angels and the Chase Angels blew up. Or Chase it, Jeans could do it now. Or do the Chase? Oh, the Chase Jeans too. Yeah. Because yeah. that's three damage. That you know, both of them blowing up would be really bad. Yeah, like <laughs> real bad. Um. Especially if one blew up and knocked the other one to the stop click, and then it blew up. That's always fun. Have you had that happen? I would have, but he uh, propped out of it. <laughs> it was the play against Jalen. It was the best prop of my entire life. Oh, it was real funny. <laughs> he hated it. It was real. So I'm a, So he had it lined up to where he was going to do two damage to one and one damage to the other, and put them just before their stop click. Then he was going to free barrier to put a blocking terrain there. Then he was going to retaliate with the tri sentinel to deal one damage, putting him on a stop click. And then after resolutions, the thing would break and they would die on their stop click. But one of my <laughs> genes, one of my genes had one action token. So when he made the attack, I probed it with theme team, which pushed my gene. So she was going to stop click like after his first action resolve before he could retaliate and kill his whole team. So we had to prob out of it. Well, no, so he could have just divided damage other ways, right? No, he had he had the lightning ring on, so he was a base of t- three damage. Oh! Yeah, so it was increasing it by one on either one. Oh, so it was like an energy explosion? Uh, it, wasn't, it was like he was going to do two damage to one and one damage to the other, and the lightning would increase it to oh. three damage and two damage. Well, no, he still could have just... Did, oh, no, he could he have stopped one. He could have assigned zero and increased it to one. But then the other one would stop. Oh, would they would were, then blow up the other the one? The other one, yes. Oh, and you would have to assign all damage. It would have wiped his whole team out. It was the best problem of my entire life. <laughs> oh, he was so mad. <laughs> anyway, oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, so... It's it's just one of those things I think on the vulture thing here is that it, it may not win, but these fields at these WKOs aren't quite large enough to make definitive <laughs> statements on the meta either a lot of times. That's uh, true. Yeah. Because you know you don't see like you're not seeing. I mean, let's just take your top eight at Worlds, right? Um, you know, me and you played and have won two events. But you haven't seen, like, Isaac play, Easton play, Pat play, uh, Robert. I think Lucas uh, played a sealed. Lucas, I think Lucas is playing no, this No, he weekend. judged. Yeah, he judged. He, he judged, place. and he's playing this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then, you know, we've still got two weeks left. Um, but there's, you know, a lot of... Oh, Dustin played one. He won, but that was before the, the Vulture yeah, update. That's That was my last one, yeah. So... You know, you're uh, kind of the folks that have won a lot are, you know, still setting what's winning. But we're also a lot of those names we just mentioned also know how to beat Vulture. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's I mean gonna, I, 
Admittedly, mine was a little bit lucky, but I also uh, kind of coached the guy a little bit on how to beat me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's not an auto win team. We we've, we've said that before. It's just it's a really good team that you have to plan how to deal with, or if you play it, it's just gonna one turn you. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. Exactly. So. But you may never have to face it. But I think, uh, you know, a lot of those teams that we just got in examples in the question are pretty uh, weak to Vulture, if not teched for specifically. Yeah, I think, yeah, I definitely think they're weak to it. Yeah. Um, so that is, Brandon Chastine asked about the uh, sentinel theme team. Um, and everyone seems to think that it's viable. Paris even seems to think uh, that it's just a B plus. It's a cool, yeah. I, w- I would put it in the B B plus category. It's super cool, and um, it's not terribly expensive either. Other than like owning a bucket full of uh, twenty five point <laughs> sure. point sentinels. But Paris said he owns. That much. Own, yeah, I think they're ten bucks a piece. He said he owned seven, and a teammate brought him seven more, and he had seven out at one time. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot. Um, yeah, because yeah, Bastion gets a plus one on his leadership if you, uh, they have like a an X Men or a Brotherhood of Mutants keyword team piece. Which I mean, there's a few of them out there, so that that helps them even more pump those things out. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I mean, I like the pumping out of the additional troops, but yeah, I you know I just don't think personally I'm a fan of a team that bleeds points to win. It's a it does bleed points for sure it's almost like an alva strike team with the tri sentinel i just don't know i just wish i had more perplex for his like initial shot but it definitely has a lot of range like deceptive range because he can mind control him out to make an attack and then he can running shot out to make an attack right and i've always liked that um cyclops sentinel Mm -hmm. then you might actually get the cyclops head yeah that's cool baby yeah Um, that's all i can ask for yeah. So, um, one more note I want to make on the vulture, um, and I kind of want to do an article on this one or maybe a video, but I'll try to explain it in voice. Um, danger rooms and beatboxing them against a wall with vulture. So, uh, sinister. Let me just pull this up real quick. I, I had I had them here close. Um, do they all have Brotherhood of Mutants? They should, right? Yeah. Um, no, Sinister doesn't actually. What? So Sabertooth, Sabertooth is the hardest one here because he has charge Sorry. and toughness. But let's talk about Magneto. And combat reflexes. He he clicks into combat reflexes. Right. So Magneto does not build charges off of KOing somebody by um, knockback. By knockback. But he can use that during his charges to to get more damage output in. So if you're playing the danger room constructs, make sure that you're not in a position to get your on sinister invincible outwitted or magneto his toughness outwitted, and then what in what case you'll take one damage. Get knocked into the wall for another, take one damage, get knocked into the wall for the other. So that's one flurry. So that would put Magneto on his last click, mm-hmm. and then that would put Sinister um, exactly, on his last click. Yeah. So that would be four damage, put them on their last click. If they have any charges left over, you know, they can finish off the danger rooms from there. Mm-hmm. Um, now, is that practical? Maybe. Is it a good skill to know and recognize? I believe so. Yeah, you should definitely not do it. Like you should be aware of that and not do it if you're playing vulture. Well yeah, yeah. You should you you should be aware of to where not to place your pieces if you're playing danger rooms. Right, yeah. Um because you were thinking, oh, I need to be on the back wall, you know, to try to stop his reach. Well, if he comes over there and beatboxes your danger rooms into a wall, then that's definitely a bad situation. I like situation. this term we're using. 
Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, what's the like the punching bags? I don't know. <laughs> I like beatboxing. That's what I'm well, calling. yeah, but like you know when the like the little punching bag at the gym yeah, where you like rapidly punch called. it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't think it's speed bag. Yeah, it's speed bag. Speed bag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you speed bag the danger rooms against the wall. Um, so you know that that's something to to think about. Uh, on both ends of what to be careful with. Um, I think uh, I think our boy uh, Stealth Sentinel could uh, could uh, could make a little rise here. Man, I've been thinking that too. I like Stealth Sentinel. Somebody played him somewhere. I can't remember where, but I remember people talking about him. Well, he played him at Rock Cup. Yeah. But somewhere else, I thought I thought this weekend. I could be wrong, but I thought I remember somebody talking about him. Mm, I don't know. I mean, he has a twenty, and prob, and super senses. Um, but he does die if Vulture hits him twice. Um, mm. But uh, Which is uh bad. yeah, I mean, so Vulture's gonna have a max of a fourteen. Um, Stealth Sentinel could get up to a twenty-three. Um, those are some pretty decent numbers. Um, you know, he can play the, um, spirits rising map or whatever, the living spirits Wakanda map. So he can get a reroll. Yeah. The super senses one because he gets free smoke clouds. So he'll be in hindering terrain unless that one says printed hindering. I don't even know if it does, but there's enough hindering on it or obscuring either one will work. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's just things that are, I think about things that are on my mind. Um, and then what? Even on offense mode, he has the two stop clicks, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Maybe even offense mm-hmm. mode's even better because he's got uh, invincible and then two stop clicks. I don't know if it's better. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You have to do the math. We need Adam Friedman. Yeah. So, um, Vulture. Lots of talk about Vulture this week. Um, you know, I think there's still constructed WKOs left. There's people that I know like to play Vulture that are probably going to play Vulture in the next the next coming weeks. Yeah. I got to think yeah, about there's it. There's definitely constructed <laughs> WKOs left. We have yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, we do have one at Big Bang this weekend. Yeah. Registration at 10 a.m. Central, round one at 11 a.m. Central. We'll see. Um, so, let's... Let's switch to talking about Ancient Hold. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so Alex posted a big thread today. Um, now, I want to say I don't have an opinion on whether or not the map should be banned. I think it's either worth looking at... Um, Banning the map or fixing the retail ruling. You think it's one or the other would fix would fix it? Yes, and I'm not advocating for one or the other. I just want them to look at one or the other. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'll, I'll quote Adam Friedman here. Uh, let me find his post. Uh, it was under Ken's post. Um, so Adam Friedman said, I agree that the current problem maps are all one where the biggest issue is being able to combine it with a tempo advantage, but in the game we currently exist in, I think this map just goes too far. Um, so Adam also talks about maybe changing up initiative to whoever wins initiative can choose to go first or choose to play the map. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. That might be a little too far. Um, what I think really the simple problem is the map or the retail ruling. Um, and and this is not so much like show me where the Sentinels touched you in your naughty place. You know, I don't really give a, give a I don't really care about that um, because it's it's a rules exploit that needs to be fixed. Um, or the map that it's abusing to use its rules exploit needs to be fixed. 
Um, so whichever one is easier, fix the easiest problem until you can fix the large problem. Yeah, I don't even know how they would fix that. That's the bigger question to me. Fixing retail? Yeah. Um, so they did it with you know ID cards, right? And they've made some several blanket rulings. Um, so they can just say that anyone that has colossal retaliation and then, you know, cite the like three different ways that it does it. Right. And then say, Hey, the check for damage comes before the free is allowed to be activated. Yeah. I just, it's on, only on, so it'd be an errata on the specific characters. I think you could do it as a general errata. Just like all colossal retaliation. Uh, check check for the da- move the damage the damage quote the damage check has to be done before the free can be activated. Right, but on, on specifically on colossal retaliation. Correct. So you can't activate the free until. Uh, or the after resolutions, you mean? Well, no, because oh, you no, can't. The if free, you, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if you don't activate the free, you can't get the after resolution. So it's so like, for example, of, like um, no, I'm gonna read the. Go ahead. I get what you, instead of saying free if a character has been damaged, you would say if a character has been damaged free, basically. Yes. The, the free is contingent on the on the damage Perfect. taken. Yeah. Like for example, you can running shot shoot without a target. Right. Um. Do you but like you, that or not like that? Um, I don't. You don't like that? No, I mean, I understand why it's there. I think it adds simplicity to the game, but not for broken game mechanics. I See, I that one I, I don't have as much of a problem with. Well, so like uh, like Pulse Wave says that you make a range attack, and then at least one of the characters must be opposing, or you can't activate Pulse Wave. Mm-hmm. So I can go activate, you know, Running Shot, Energy Explosion, but I can't go activate Running Shot Pulse Wave without a target. You can still activate Running Shot though. Correct. Which seems fine to me. Yeah, but if that's fine to you, then maybe just activating free action for retail is fine, too. Yeah. <laughs> so so what's your solution to that problem? I don't know. I think it's a hard thing, because I think that you're going to have to do a blanket change on something, and that and that's always dangerous. Right, so I think you just fix retail. You just do a blanket a blanket errata to retail that says because it's an easy thing it's an easy change because all of the retail in um the mighty thor was worded so the same way all the retail in ai was worded the same way all of the retail in xdps was worded the same way so you can you can change all those characters with minimal amount of effort and it's really right. just moving the phrase before the free. Yeah, but it, yeah, mm-hmm. it's. I agree. It's just blanket things always scare me like this, but I, I don't. I don't see how something that how it would. Well, so like a blanket thing to me would be changing how after resolutions works. Yeah, it's not that extreme, and I've seen people try to say that's how. It, we need to do things now that would that's kind of your argument for changing vulture um that i think it's similar maybe no i just want them to a rat a vulture i don't i don't think there's anything broken with how it works i i just think that they need to a rat a vulture because vulture's the problem what's the change to vulture um there could be a few things making him a standard character would be okay um, making make him, him make him a non-standard character. You mean? Yeah, non-standard character. Making it so it's like you know, at no cost to once per turn you can do a charge. So that wouldn't be as bad. Just something that makes him worse. Um, yeah, the once per turn I think would be fine. Like the uh, 
Like the Black Panther? It would, but if we run into a, like a Proxima Spear type thing, it, it could still cause a problem. Because it would still be one and then an extra damage. It would still allow for um, Tank. Tank could still do that. Like, build charges from him. So I don't think that one's as permanent or as absolute of a solution. But I, I don't know. I haven't thought about it a ton. I just want them to change him. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, but, so, I mean, I think... So I don't think you change after resolutions or change free. I think you just mass errata the characters mm. to be what their intent would be. Yeah, I think that's fine. Probably. That that seems like the best solution, I would say. Cause, and I do think that there needs to be something done. Because it's, <laughs> it, it's just bad. I mean... It's not super bad. Tri Sentinel is the main issue. It's it's not that big of a deal on other stuff, but it's still just broken and not what it is supposed to be. Right. So if they can't errata it quickly, then maybe just taking out the map that it's abusing would be fine. I mean, it's abusing a lot of maps. But the ancient hold being the, the main problem one. Probably. And then I and then I think if you look at just ancient hold in a vacuum, that it has its own problems in and of itself with as many doors as it has. Yeah, I still I'm still not 100 percent on it. I just don't know. I haven't I haven't played on it enough, I guess. Well, I mean, and then you also play whales that just go through and. Yeah, the main problem that people are saying is like if someone's sitting on the other side of a door with two people, you you basically can't attack them, and they basically have improve movement or improve targeting walls because they can attack you from the other side of a wall and you have a wall in your way and whales don't have to deal with that they can just quake it right mass destruction it mm-hmm. so that could be I just, I just don't know and I'm okay saying that yeah I mean that's fine I mean I'm not advocating for again I would say I'm not advocating for the ban of ancient hold or the change to Tri Sentinels or the retail. One of the two needs to be fixed, though. Um, and WizKids need to take a look at one of the two before Nationals. Like for these WKOs and stuff, like it doesn't really matter. But they need to take a look at one of those two maps before Nationals. Or one of the two issues before Nats. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what? Maybe the thing is they just retire all the. Tri Sentinel stuff, or the retire Tri Sentinel and retire um, the other stuff before Nats, and just it's done. It's, there's no problem retail then. There's no way they're retiring Tri Sentinel, right? What year was he? 2018? Uh, he's already been through two worlds. Has he? Yep. He was at well, your he was at your worlds, and then last year. Was he at my worlds? Yeah. Yeah, it came out right before that. It was legal the second week of WKOs in November. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah I, remember specifically, be... I still remember specifically talking about the Tri-Sentinel teams coming out. Um, That'd be an early retirement, though, right? Um, I mean, it depends. I mean, worlds changing dates typically changes retirement timelines. So we did get worlds dates. It's back in Graceland, baby. That's right. Um, so that happened. The retirement date changed again. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jason. Whenever Worlds moved from Gen Con to Origins, the retirement date changed mm-hmm. with it. And that messed up War of Light, Age of Ultron, and Guardians of the Galaxy retirement dates. Yeah, that's when they split Guardians of the Galaxy off, and it went a month later than the rest of it, remember? That's correct. And then... They didn't have free actions to stop the team base, and Crampton won nationals that year. <laughs> yeah, the zombie base. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's kind of fun. I mean, they they've done stuff before. And early yeah. that was a problem. Now, like, so uh, Web of Spider Man got retired yeah, well, early because of Nightcrawler. Yeah. Man, I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a very firm rule. Not exactly. Um, 
I it has been it has been way. for it has been for a vast majority of the players that currently play. Um, but if you follow HeroClix history, um, you'll learn that some of these things have changed over the years. Yeah, I mean, we we still don't know if retire. I guess we guess we, do we know for sure retire, retirement's not going to be before Worlds or after? We don't know for sure. Do we? we don't know if retirement. Well, I think it's going to be before or after Nats. If you go with consistency, I mean, I mean at Nats is what I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if yeah. you go with consistency at the moment, retirement. So if you just look at the way things have been done the past few years, mm-hmm. retirement is after Nats. After Blackbird mm-hmm. ID stay. Mm-hmm. And uh, Batman animated series will be your newest modern, mm-hmm. your oldest modern set. Right. And then Tri Sentinels decided. Tri Sentinels would also stay legal. Right. Or they could, or they could just decide to get rid of all that stuff and just change everything. <laughs> they could decide to get rid of Tri Sentinels, Blackbird IDs, Starro. Um, the whatever else came out that year, they could. Yeah, I'm not sure they'll go that far, but they, I guess they could if they just want to get rid of ID cards altogether. Right. Which would be kind of cool, man. That'd be so refreshing. Yeah. Wouldn't it? It'd be a totally different game. Man, <laughs> man, yeah. I can't do that. I kind of want that to happen. Yeah, that sounds great to get attacked by a Proteus. <laughs> Proteus is not that well, bad. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Colossal Retaliation is just, uh, yeah. So I would say here's an important note to be had. Colossal Retaliation has never existed without ID cards. Yes. So there's a world that I don't think I want to live in where Colossal Retaliation exists Without an ID card. I, I don't. I don't know if I need that in my life. I don't know. See, Blackbird. Blackbird came out in what? Eighteen. It came out in eighteen, but it wasn't legal for Nats that year. Right. But they've been doing like what four years on comics? Three. Three. Is it years. three? It wasn't four. It was three. Yeah, yeah. All so even the, if they even if they don't retire, if they don't, if they go ahead and do three. There's been colossal retail still going to outlive ID cards. If they, um, it would only be Trison, right? No, because all the stuff that came out in, in oh, XGPS yeah. is going to well, still think, be legal. Yeah, I, and I year after year after that. I think there's going to be a world like that. It seems like to me, um, they're definitely getting rid of. They're phasing out ID cards. We haven't seen them in a while. Um, I've, I've I've heard that from different people that that's probably what's going to happen, but they seem totally fine with retaliation. So it seems like that's a world that's going to happen. Yeah, one way or the other. Right. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. That makes me a bit sad. Yeah. I I think we'll have to see it before we can judge it, which is scary because you know once we see it, it's there for a year at least. Yes. But, yeah, I agree. But then we still have our savior vulture to take out all the retaliation. Oh yeah, Vul- then we're uh, like crazy no, vulture. No, that's because vulture will retire with Earth X next year. Not this coming year, but next year. Right, not 2020, 2021. Right, and then then we because have- because it came out the same time but as X, we- XS. It came out right yeah. after. No, I'm sorry. It came out oh, yeah. in February. So it was... Then we have Blade. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're, we're we're covered. Take all those monster, all those monster mis- Dude, we're we're Tell totally me. covered, guys. It's fine. Out, yeah. <laughs> you know what? So I guess if I was to steal a page from uh, um, Sudden Death, Buy Sell Trade, buy your Blade now for 2021 meta. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Like it. Yeah, get it what get it while it's cold. <laughs> You'll have it when it's hot. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Just keep him in a little container so he doesn't get dusty. <laughs> yeah, because I guess you know what? All of the retail in that set does have monster or mystical on it, doesn't it? No. Try yeah. the Phoenix. I'll, not I'll, Phoenix doesn't, yeah. yeah. Uh 
Phoenix. It was cosmic, cosmic, and X Men. Okay, the two on, Phoenixes uh, don't. Dark right. on Dark Sin- Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Okay, but it's Wendigo does. Fire. Wendigo does. Storm does. Proteus. Proteus. Proteus uh, Colossus does. Magneto does. Magneto does. Magneto does not. But Blade uh, still helps, and you can you can just uh, I don't even know build up flurries. You can just build up. No, we won't have flurries because that'll retire because that was oh, in our right. effects as well. Right. Maybe so they're going for more pieces that can do multi attacking things like that. I don't know. Um, but then again, you can just end with Magneto, right? You can right. attack That's the other exactly. monster mystical pieces and end with mags. There's, there, where there's mm-hmm. a will, there's a way. I'm sure, we'll be fine. The meta adjusts. Right. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's... it's uh, Certainly the sky is not falling because of Vulture or Ancient Hold. Uh, it's a good, healthy discussion to have, though. Mm-hmm. So, make your, make your own decision as you choose. Um, we are only here to facilitate discussion. No, I'm here to have an opinion. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> you, you don't have an opinion. You just said you didn't. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, now I look down. I'm reserving <laughs> judgment until I have more data. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, a good, that's a good position. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't played a single game on H and Hold, so yeah. who, am I, who am I to judge it? Fair. Well, you might have a chance this weekend. That's true. Very true. Um, so Justin Red Robinson, uh, said also, um, what is, uh, we haven't seen any Immortal Hulks either, really, either. Yeah. I don't think any Immortal Hulks won anything. Maybe. It's only been a week for crying out loud. No, he, yeah. no, he, he won, he won with Immortal Hulk. He did, he won with Immortal Hulk. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Justin. Um, too you. much, too many screens open right now. Yeah, his team was basically my um, my monster team, but it took off two whales and added Immortal Hulk. So it sounds like it's just better. Yeah, basically. And he played Ancient Hold. <laughs> he did play Ancient Hold with um with, with, a, with a boxing uh, ring. Boxing ring, that's what it was. Yeah. All of that sounds, but he did not face. You, that's your. There's my he, team. He made your reti- post retirement team for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I lose Surter. Surter's my boy. Well, and he also didn't face any vultures because there was none in Little Rock. Right, that helps. I mean, he he's definitely got a better shot as a vulture against than me. Yeah, I know, but it, what is it? Twelve on a so vulture would be a fourteen. Yeah, I'm just reason? saying that his Hulk will survive. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I feel like if a shield team can't survive a kill the rest of a Hulk. Then there's an issue, I agree. Yeah, then there seems to be a problem with that, but it's still better odds than mine than my team. It is better odds than your current team, yeah, I would agree with that. Um but yeah, no Immortal Hulk, I mean we're not sleeping on him. He's really good. He is really mm-hmm. good. Uh, but it's just been a week, folks. Let the let the meta adjust a little bit. Let's see what we see next week. You know, we typically record every week, so we'll be back to talk about it again, unless uh, unless the world ends. Um, so yeah, lots of questions about the overall impact of Paul Cote wrote in about that. Uh, we didn't see any Captain Marvels yet. Nope. Um. I was saying he tried. I saw a smattering of Ultrons. We saw a smattering of Ultrons. Um, so Steven Spooner says, has Gene, Jason Gene replaced Kobic Trader? No. Uh, no. Uh, it, it has added to the list of things. So yeah. Kobic Trader is still good. I, I don't know why we haven't seen any Gardeners. I mean, so Bill Barrett played one the first week. And got the second place against a Witch Queen Lafay Lockjaw team of uh, my uh, of Tom's That's pretty Tom cool. Kerr's 
Um, but yeah, I, let's let's be clear. Gardner is still good. Uh, Kobic Trader Gardner um, teams are still good. Now, I don't think the You Can't Hit Me team is any good anymore that kind of Isaac won with. Again, if Isaac's playing it, he'll wipe the floor with all of us. <laughs> um, but Worlds did not have access to Ancient Hold, uh, nor did Worlds have access to the Storm, uh, Asgard Storm. What do you mean when you say, um, don't die there? Don't, the You Can't Hit Me team? Yeah, but is that like dice manipulation? Yeah, like a bunch of probs and uh, <coughs> a bunch of probs in the boxing ring and cues and tray lanes. I, I think that that's a great team. So if he goes and huddles in the boxing ring, Storm just gets perplexed up, pulse waves everybody outside of the boxing ring, and then there's a follow up, especially on your Black Adam uh, mystical teams. Yeah, pulse wave is still a thing. <laughs> See. Well, no. So Pulse Wave is more accessible. So at Worlds, Storm was only at 150. Right. So Kobic, Gardner teams, um, Black Adams didn't have access to a running shot Pulse Wave, other than Banshee, who only had a 10 attack. Um, and yeah, no, he did, and and no and no Force Blast either. Uh, uh sorry, Knockback. Um, and damage can't be reduced below one. Um, so now you have access to two storms on those teams, um, and the, you know a, a crap ton of perplex, so where they're having to just roll, roll in, roll a five, kill Q, knock Trey Lane out, knock Astronomer out, uh, knock Gardner out, um, and then go from there. But that that's the specific like you can't hit me team of Isaacs. Uh, yeah, I just now, man, now the new. Go ahead. I just <laughs> I keep I keep always forget how um uh stilted my view is because <laughs> every time I run into double Q teams I'm just like man this team sucks it's so oppressive I can't do anything he rolled a five and a six my first two attacks he's gonna super sense out of but that's just because I don't play <laughs> I don't play any uh you know. Pulse wave. Pulse wave, yeah. Mm-hmm. Pulse wave's good. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> now there is non pulse waveable dice manipulation. Um, so Trent Morello has twice played uh, to top fours, uh, two two top- Eddie two Eddies and two Qs. Now I think his team would be better with uh, Q and Trey Lane until Trey Lane retires. Um, but Trent's done a really good job with that team. Mm -hmm. So now if you're re-rolling single dice and replacing two dice, um, you know, that's pretty good. And you're going to be hitting most likely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I played against that team. It's very, very annoying. (laughs) Uh, You lost to it, didn't you? I lost to it in Swiss and Columbus. Yeah. And you beat it, right? Or no? I beat it in the finals because I was not. I just stopped being dumb. I um. Define how you stopped being dumb. My first turn, <laughs> my first, <laughs> my first game against, I moved out <laughs> my um my mojo. I thought he was safe behind my whale, but um Eddie Guerrero has um that thing. Blind leap. No. no. Grand entrance. Grand entrance. Mm-hmm. Grand entrance in. And then he called out a gene who one shot my mojo, and that was not good. Um, <laughs> second round, I I kept mojo back so that I could do the chamber thing because I was gonna miss. Um, so I just kept I just kept mojo back and then chambered his uh, Q, which helped a ton. But uh, yeah, yeah. So point is, is don't be bad. Yeah, yeah, it, it helps. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's still, I mean, it's still a good team. It was close the second time. He killed a whale and Mojo. I think I just had a whale and Wendigos left. Mm. But, yeah. but Wendigos are pretty good against uh, close combat pieces. They are, it turns out, yeah. 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 Um, 
so Max Marcus also asked about Immortal Hulk. Um, so top five meta archetypes, which that's what we've been talking about all day. Um, I'd like to make a swing down Robot Street. <laughs> um, well, it's just lessons that I've learned from this weekend. Um, a 14 attack needs a prob. Now, Tyler won Worlds with a 10 attack and a bunch of attacks. Right. One 14 attack needs a prob. Correct. Yep. Um, so your your robot team with a soul gem and something else maybe should include a time gem. Time gem, soul gem seems like the, the key there. Um, so Does a 16 attack need a prob? Uh, yeah, because... Like skeets. <laughs> You can you can always crit miss. You can't always crit. Everything miss. needs a prob, right? Yeah, everything needs a prob. At least one, right? So, so here's what Unless happened. I played Tyler Spees. Watching Tyler Spees. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. That's there's a distinct difference between one huge attack right. and death by a thousand nicks. Right. Yeah. So, um, now Tyler's team is also behind on the math. If you talk to Adam, anyways, but that's a, that's a discussion for Adam. Uh-huh. Go message Adam about that. Um, so I played against Austin Lytle in top four. Um, now I had a twenty-one with Uni because I was twenty and then into hindering. Um, so he needed to roll a seven, rolled a six. Um. And then with his Magneto, so this is also uh, very important for the danger rooms. I mind controlled his Magneto, and rolled he rolled a one during the mind control. So he built up a a savage, uh, a danger an error token, uh, an error token. Error yeah. token. And then he came out and wanted to shoot my retail and I think Lockjaw. Critically missed. Mm. Magne- Mag- Magneto is now a uh, a regular person, a um, regular hero click. I feel bad for he rolled real bad like both WKOs he went to. He did, but if you have huge attacks, you gotta have at least one prob. Yes. Like, I don't, and I don't even think he had super friends on the sideline either. Which could have helped him, um, but I don't know. Yeah, super, I, I don't even know if that would help him because he doesn't make enough attacks to really utilize them that well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I would also say in that matchup, the TK ruling is just also needs to be fixed. Like I shouldn't just be able to TK an object to oblivion with no target. It makes sense thematically. That what? I'm going to call in Summon Jean Grey from the sky to TK an object into outer space? Well, besides the besides the TK, like, falling her from the sky, that's an ID issue. But destroying an object with TK makes sense thematically. I don't even, I don't even know if that was intended by them, but... What about... But you can also do it with, like, a charge... What do you mean? You can also just go out and charge, use the object in an object attack. And do the same thing. Yeah. So you're just telling me the Hulk's, you're just going to tell the Hulk, Hulk, go out there and pick up that garbage can and smash it on the ground. Because yeah. you're at nothing. That makes well, perfect he, sense that, to me. That, yeah, he could totally do that. <laughs> like. So the, the R, those things are indestructible for that reason. He's not can't. destroy. He's not destroying the object. You what are you gonna do? Be like, you're gonna be like, hey Hulk, I hear the that mean old Wolverine's over there in the corner. Go smash those <laughs> octopus arms on him. To be Hulk, fair, Hulk smash mean Wolverine. That would wait, probably w- work. <laughs> wait, where Wolverine? Hulk angry. That like, would probably work. But you're trying to you're trying to trick Jean. I'm like Jean Grey, use your telekinesis and throw that at a character, and That's, then she's like she like throws it. And then it just keeps going out into space, and she's like, "What the heck, guys? Oh, never I, mind, never mind, Gene. Sorry, you're going away next turn. 
Here comes I, Wonder Woman to come pick me up. So I see what you're saying. <laughs> Um, None of this shit makes any sense. So what the difference? <laughs> um, so the argument is they they made it indestructible for a reason, and now that it's basically not indestructible. That the that, that keyword just basically means nothing now. Is your argument? True. Yeah, True. I agree. And I'm tired of making my Jean Grey. I'm tired of I'm tired of tricking her every time to destroy soul gems. <laughs> it's so They're, sad. Poor Jean Grey. Yeah. I'm like, I gave you a perplexed range and everything. Stop, stop destroying objects. Yeah. I mean, that that makes sense. The, I mean, yeah, the, that keyword is basically useless at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. What else do we have? Uh, Dustin Craven, we've talked about the, the archetypes. Um, John Morley, it's still just the first week. We need a little bit more time to determine underhyped, overhyped. Um, all right, so Jordan Ray Gardner, which is better, Jason Mainboard Gene or Jason Collin Gene? I think Rick Ryan said, in a perfect world, you have one on your team and one to call in. Yes. Yep. I think in the perfect world you have one on your main force and then two to call in. No, nope, two to I, call in is nice. I want to correct that again. In a perfect world, I think you play one Jason, two genes on the main force, two genes on the ID cards. Wait, you like two genes on the main force? I do. Um, because then you have three genes over there in their face for that turn. So you, you call out with one gene... Um, then you triple mind control them over there to the other side, uh, and then that gives you two attacks with your genes, uh, 11 for four side blasts, 11 for five, cause 11 for six, because they have, uh, no, they, they don't have enhancement top dial, do they? They got another second click. Yeah, so they do 11 for four side blast, and they're actioning on their own. So that way you're not relying on your opponent playing good pieces, you're playing the good side blasting pieces on your team. That makes sense. The because like getting if you, an extra if you're, pogs is real nice though. Yes, I I agree with that. It's it's tit for tat. This is an opinion. Mm-hmm. But that's fair. I mean, it's definitely valuable. They're both good. It's real fun. It's hard to to put together. Yeah, it's very it's a it's a prohibitively <laughs> expensive team. I will agree with that. Right. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Um, David Newmark says, Captain Marvel have a shot to be in meta. What about her with Thanos and some retail? I mean, I, I think so. But <laughs> I will have to see the, what the, the team ends up being. So there are a lot of things that have plastic boobies. Uh, uh, okay. Try <laughs> Got all, got all that plasticity. Tricentil does have it. Um, yeah. Tricentil has plastic booby. Yes. Um, uh, Carnage. Yeah. I. Lockjaw can pick it. I'm not. Yeah, they, things have it, but it's not like. I don't think it's that prevalent. Well, so I mean, we just covered Tricentil's um, cosmic. Uh, Daredevil can click uh, onto it. And even like, so, okay, so this is going through some teams that, that I played, let's say, last Saturday. So the first one was um, the mystical thing with Jalen. He had one with Tri Sentinel, but I mean, he has so much other stuff that she can just not, she can just one, not attack Tri Sentinel. Or she can two, actually punch Tri Sentinel because she has a high attack. And then even if she misses him, she can try to break away on a four, five, or six and ping him that way. It's not right. So th- I mean, there's still things that she can do. Mm-hmm. So it's, I, I just don't think it, that limits her that much. I don't think that's the reason she won't get played if she isn't played. Okay. So then pretty- you, but then you played me. But you didn't play me second round. You played Tommy Lytle, who had. Okay. 
So lock we have jaw. Lockjaw, right, who could pick it. But yep. again, there's I mean there's other things that she can hit on that team. Like she, it doesn't have to be the lockjaw. And but, if he's but picking she, but she can't she can't fly through Lockjaw and Thanos, and I think Lockjaw and Thanos I mean Thanos just perplexes her down and then she just goes through an entire dial. I mean she's got two stop clicks. But... No, you can outwit the stop clicks with Thanos. Oh yeah, with Thanos you can. But he doesn't have outwit, so you'd have to pick it with Lockjaw. And then you don't have plasticity. I think that if you're picking out wit, you are at that turn going right. to try to try do to your best him. to kill her. I, I do get that. But I think if you make him – if you make a lockjaw pick plasticity, I feel like – that feels like a win to me. No? Uh, no. No. I don't think so. Not not in my world. Mm. A lockjaw is there to pick whatever he needs to. Sure, but – you would rather have Throb than Plasticity on, against oh. most of the time. You know what? Here's why it's so good, Tyler. Uh-huh. The Sentinel team. What, a, what about it? it? The Friends of Humanity have Plasticity on their dials. You, uh-huh. generate, you, you generate the 25-point robots, which can go onto the Plasticity dial. Uh-huh. He even said that he played the uh, one thing Big on the one on plas- Plasticity. That's a lot of plasticity. <laughs> I mean, so mm-hmm. then she see, but even so, even then, right? Worst case, every piece has plasticity. She mo- she moves up really far. She makes an attack with decent stats, right? Probably kills something she's gonna hit. She tries to break away. If she gets it on a fifty fifty, she gets to ping. And then after that, she drops a cat who's flurrying you for ninety five points. She's done. She's done at least three attacks. And maybe a ping. That seems good, right? Yeah. It just seems good on, to me. I guess but on I, paper. Yeah, I, I still don't know like, if there's a team that can utilize her, but I think she's good enough. Just waiting for somebody to build a team with her. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm seeing it that much. And your seals have plasticity. Yeah, they do. Mm, I, know, man. I just I have there, there's no <laughs> <laughs> plasticity is not on my mind at all when I'm thinking about her it's because you play whales and you don't you don't have you don't have to worry about plasticity for a couple of years now yeah but nobody has to worry about plasticity like she has hypersonic so it's, even even then it's a fifty fifty. I don't know. We don't do we don't I don't deal with fifty fifties. That's because because that's uh, all I deal with. Because fifty fifty because <laughs> uh, fourteen attack Ultrons miss. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, I witnessed it with my own eyes. They do. So Nathan Deal with our last question of the night. Uh, what do you think of onslaught teams in the meta? What about Triple H Avengers? Those are very different questions. Yeah, so let's start with onslaught. Onslaught's a good. Onslaught's a good character. He's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I think. <laughs> do we I think need more than that? I like you. No, I think we've talked. I think you've. <laughs> I think you've talked about onslaught until you're face is numb when he came out yeah he's i mean there's he's got he's got the monster keyword is his only good keyword um so that's the issue but i i think that that's there are other you're playing with arnold stark now <laughs> i don't think he's good but anyway um yeah there's just i feel like there's a monster a non-swarm monster team out there that's good enough mm-hmm. um you know, I just, I just think there is. I, I think he's he's obviously a good character. It's whether or not he fits into a team. Same with, he's yeah. Same with uh, Captain Marvel. He's obviously good enough to be meta. Somebody just has to build a team around him, or with him, not around him. And practice positioning, and everything else that goes along with it. Yeah. To make it good. Um, so Triple H Avengers. This is a cool team. Um, yeah. So friendly characters that are adjacent 
or share a keyword with him besides WWE can use in power. So 10 giant girls with the power is fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, 10 no, let's fun. go. Especially because the ones can retail like repeatedly, like the starter set ones. So then they're all mm-hmm. retailing for five damage. So it's cool. It's a cool gimmick. I don't think it holds up. Just because there are things like Vulture that'll probably chew through it. But it's super fun. Is this a pauper legal team? No, Steve Rogers is rare. No. Right? Thank God Steve Rogers is rare. <laughs> or else Dang. that would that would be yeah. a pauper team. <laughs> oh my god. Dang um, it, Steve Rogers, why couldn't you be an uncommon? <laughs> um <laughs> Does he have any other? He's an assassin politician. Okay, so that's those shenanigans do not enter pauper. Okay. Um, it's, yeah, it's, I mean there could be a there could be an assassin theme team there, or politician. Let's see, assassin and pauper. Let's go. Um, what else? Ryan, Esther. Orion female. Uh, oh. Winter Soldier, Nuke, Assassin's Guild, Gambit. No game, it's a rare. Uh, Sabretooth. You like that Sabretooth, the uncommon one. He is cool. Uh, Electra. A winner, another winner soldier. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll stop looking now. Outwater, yeah, yeah, Black yeah, Widow. Like, politician, you got like Sharon, you got Sharon Carter, Dario Agger in Politician. I love Beast. Dario Agger. He'd be good in Popper too because he can take away their... their um, yeah. WWE thing. But you know what? I was thinking about Daryl Agger, and yeah. this relates to his first question. You know who is not concerned about uh, Kobik taking the team ability or Dario Agger coming up in his face? Onslaught. Uh, onslaught, yeah. Actually, yeah. that's a team. I, I mean, he doesn't. I agree with that. But <laughs> his team ability is actually very good because he makes a lot of free attacks. He does, but he's not really worried about Dario right. Agger coming up and being like, ha-ha, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> and Dario Agger can no. do that. He's, Dario Agger will see some play, I think. Yeah, um, protected like, Mind Control, Outwit, and Psyblast. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I thought that he had just protected Penetrating Damage there for a second. No. That I've was... gotten exploited by a Vulture before with him. Ooh. Yeah, they called in Psylocke. Dude, Psylocke's really good. I never knew what she did. She makes it, you turn off defense powers. Like, right. There's yeah, a reason. I talked about her forever, and everybody's like, yeah, she's no good. Yeah, I talked about the chat for like all this time. Like, oh, okay, no I forgot good. about her. I saw yeah. the same major user with Shade the Changing Girl, and it was very impressive. You know what? I um, So she, she doesn't turn off defense powers. Yeah, not exactly. But. She... You can choose a standard attack or defense power the character can use, and after resolutions, um, that that character can't use that power until your next turn. So she can't yeah. turn off stop clicks, but she can turn off the power with mm-hmm. the stop click. Oh, is it only a standard power? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. So that's not as good. But still. Right. Yeah, no, Psylocke is a great call-in. Um you know, so someone asked about what's the top five meta archetypes, um, and like, like I went through and it's like the cosmic is like six to seven different teams. Mm-hmm. Monsters is like I'm gonna say four. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, because there's whales. There's you know there's two different versions of whales I think. Well, there's, there's probably there's probably whales subset three. Onslaught, Immortal Hulk, Mojo. Yeah. Um, and then there's, you know, Red's team and um, a, a Cap Venom team. Oh, did you guys see the um, uh, Seth's team this weekend? It was Barbatos and Nightmare, and it gave his whole team 14 attack. That was pretty cool. Oh, because he can share the attack value because of With Batman Monster Enemy? Keyword. Yeah. Monster keywords get to share the attack. That's pretty cool. That's hilarious. Yeah, it was pretty funny. So <laughs> Bar- 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 Barbato Barbato's at a hundred. Yep. And, and Nightmares one thirty. 
Yeah, I can't remember what else he played, but that's just cool. His entire team had 14 attack. <laughs> oh, can you imagine a 14 attack Surter? Yeah, I mean, yeah, or anything. 14 attack whale retail. Wendigos. <laughs> yeah, 14 attack Wendigos. Oh, man. Dude, 14 attack just whale. Like, that just makes the 15 point whale retail incredibly scary. Like a 14 attack giant reach quake. Like, ooh. So wait a minute. Why haven't we... Why, why aren't you playing this now? I don't know. I didn't think about it. Like, I, I tried Barbatos for a little bit, and my whale quakes with a 12 attack from Surter, but I, I didn't think about it when he came out. So, so wait a minute. Friendly characters with the bat... So you still have to be adjacent yes. to use Batman enemy. Mm-hmm. So that's 235 points, and then so you can just fill it up with, like, four Wendigos? Yeah, retails or something. Yeah. I, I, I like that. It's I like pretty. That. I, it was just really cool when I saw it. I like that. Like, it's like, well, you can miss with an Ultron 14, but how many attacks is that they going to make? How many Wendigo One. attacks? Well, no. Two, One. at least. One per turn. What are you talking about? Uh, Ultron making one per turn. Right, but this team can attack more than one time a turn with 14 attack. So yeah. It's cool. I like that. Nightmare. Nightmare, yeah. Nightmare meta. Yeah. Choosing opposing characters. <laughs> oh, man. What? If no friendly characters have been placed this turn, place an opposing character with two action tokens. That's down dial. You could just voop over and punch a, <laughs> a punch somebody for what three penetrating damage or... I don't know. Maybe you need to pair Nightmare with uh, WWE with uh, Triple H there, if you could. Wait, what is that? No friendly characters in places and choose. Oh, it's like a reverse retail. Place Nightmare so that he can make choose an opposing character. No, it's just a retail. Okay. But the damage is penetrating. Right. With Precision Strike. They do so damage double attack is penetrating, and you can reflex it up if you want to. Yeah. I mean, I, it's just really cool. I don't know if it's, like, super meta, but it's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, man, that guy goes from a 14 attack to an 8 attack. <laughs> that is some Infinity Challenge stuff right there. Well, maybe it's just yeah. as you go down the dial, you get closer to waking up and the guy's not so dangerous anymore. Oh, that's, yeah, that's cool. That's a good way to think about it. I have no idea. That I have no idea who something. Nightmare is. I like I mean, that though. Well, yeah. Charge, charge, flurry, charge, flurry, charge, flurry. Fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Yeah. Night, Nightmare's Doctor Strange villain. He's really yeah. to be the villain in the new Doctor Strange movie, so you'll probably no, the, get familiar. Or no, that's. I was thinking. Yeah, I got it confused with Morbius. Never mind. No. See the Morbius trailer? Yeah. That looks kind of sweet. But uh, anyway. Uh, so yeah. Um, cosmic and monster. Yeah, and then mystical, right? Which is just almost, uh, you know, it was a variant of Black Adam, Tri Sentinel abuse, um, Daredevil, make a splash. Yeah, Undertaker, um, and then you know your name themes, right? Shield, uh, Avengers, uh, JSA. Is that a thing again? And eh, that's not top five, but it's probably top eight. Um, I think Ruler is just as good as Cosmic at this point. Yeah, Ruler. Uh, Nightmares are Ruler. He is. Mm-hmm. There's a uh, lot, of, a lot of shares between Ruler, Mystical, and Monster. There's a lot of stuff that shares there. Yep, exactly. So I mean, you got your, I mean, Ruler and then Hellfire Club, of course. I I lump, I lump Ruler and Hellfire Club together because Ruler is probably a, the strongest with Jason as I far think as. The, Top five goes. I think the Hellfire Club team is probably better as a ruler team because you get Mandarin and you get like Surter. Um, you lose the theme team props, but I don't know. You get uh, Proteus too. He's pretty good. Yeah, I'm with you there. Um, I think they're both fine though. I think they're. Yeah. Hellfire is more fun. Dark Phoenix is so fun. I love her. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Prob out of a hit. I'm talk to <laughs> Jalen about that. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, I laughed about that for ten minutes. That was so fun. Oh gosh. Yeah, because he had to prob himself out of a hit afterwards. <laughs> Woo. That's 
good time. After the game, he said, I wish I would have just made the attack and scored 150 points because he ended up scoring eight points. Cause wait they, a like, minute. So much. pushing da- – wait. Oh, no. You gained power cosmic on your freaking stop click. Well, it wouldn't so, have mattered because it's immediately after. So I would just go to my stop click. Oh, you're right. Oh, but yeah, I get power cosmic. You're right. Never mind. Yeah, so you, he couldn't – yeah, I was just – I'm still thinking about how Jalen did that wrong, but it doesn't sound like he did. I, I don't think there's a way out of it. Uh. Yeah, because you would have pushed to your stop click, but even if he knocked you to your stop click and you took the second token, mm-hmm. you would have still had power cosmic, so the – Second token wouldn't have KO'd you. Yeah. Unless he had Dario Agger right there next to you as well, but he did not. He did not. <laughs> so I guess that's the way to get around the genes popping. Is, is Dario, Dario Agger, Agger or... mystical? I think he is. Yeah, I think he pretty is. Pretty sure he is. Dario Agger is so good. He's my sleeper piece. Yep. Monster so. mystical ruler. Oh, hi, look, those are the three we just talked about. Yeah. Um. Some, like, super, super, super side tangential note about a rule thing that needs to be fixed is um, pushing damage is immediately after actions resolves, but colossal stamina is just after actions resolve. That's just dumb and needs to be fixed. No, I think it's fine. It's just real dumb. It's just, it annoys me. Not me, because I can exploit it with whales, but it should be fixed. Yeah. I don't know. I think that one's in the grand scheme of things. Let's yeah, work on let's work on fixing uh, retail first. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. No, they'll fix that one and be like specifically for whales. It's it's before resolutions. Someone just has to win Nats or Worlds with uh like a exploit thing, and then they'll fix it. I suppose that is true. I don't take that long but that is one way to do it yeah i mean or if it starts winning a bunch of wkos yeah so, um you know what was it um you know what is the thing where uh, like lucas may not play tri sentinels this weekend mm-hmm. just to make just to not draw attention to it <laughs> maybe I don't or know. like uh, or like the vulture players not wanting to play vulture because they don't want the stink of vulture on them <laughs> Maybe something like that. I know that PJ specifically played Vulture because he wanted it to get changed. So he wanted to show how good it was. And then and then he got Precision Strike Super Sense three times in a row. Yeah. I, I Now, speaking from experience, that hurts really bad if it happens once. And three times in a row would not be fun. Yeah, like when you line up a, star, a, a yes, kill like shot on a, on a Star Fox and you yep. don't. I think Easton also knows that pain. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you play the power, right? That is why you play the power. Three times seems excessive, though. Mm. But yeah. I know that's why you wanted to play it. I'm with you. All right, let's wrap it up, folks. Final thoughts. Tyler, go. Actually, you know what? Jason, go. Tell us something, Jason, because you haven't talked a lot because you haven't played. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played in like I haven't played a competitive 300 modern game in like eight months or something. Oh <laughs> Did you play in states? Yeah, but that's how I was in 300 modern. That's 300 modern. Popper. Yeah, I said 300 modern. I haven't played 300 modern competitively since like world. Film. Um, uh, I don't know. I'll probably just play Vulture. <laughs> God damn it! So, God damn it, Jason! You want that stink look, on you? Uh, look, I already owned you with whales against your whales. So <laughs> God damn take it. it. I can't <laughs> okay. even argue against that. You know what? That is that is true. <laughs> I think I think that's a good time to remember that Tyler has never lost to somebody playing his team except for Jason. I, <laughs> I have to... Um, Maybe I should just play the whales. I, I don't know. I have to keep telling everybody I, I'm, I'm playing Jason's team whenever I go anywhere. <laughs> I guess I guess one thing I, one thing I do want to say is like to, Alex and I are going to start a uh, a casual clicks podcast uh, for Clickstuff called yeah, Casualties of War. That's a yeah. I like that name. Yeah, 
Yeah. So it'll be coming soon. So be on the lookout for it. Yeah. Right. So we'll just the and just from a formatting perspective, we'll just run it like we do Sudden Death. It'll have its own episode um, title and episode mm-hmm. uh, numbering, uh, and we'll just host it with all of the same um, places that we do now. No need to go get new yep. hosting or anything. So. Yeah. Get all the same places. Just it'll, it'll be coming pretty soon. Maybe next week. We'll see. Yeah, so we've got a sudden death episode to put up. I've got this one to put up, um, and then we'll have another one. So we're we're trying to crank out the podcast during this busy, busy time of the season. So, um, and maybe some other stuff coming. We're we've got some other things in the works for more content. Um, nothing to publicly discuss yet because there's nothing come to fruition. But we've got stuff in the works, folks. So yeah, we're all we're all hyped up. Heroclix is back, baby. Yeah. Like a two month hiatus or whatever. So Tyler, final thoughts. Um I don't know what I want to play next week. Um so This week. This week, yeah. This Can week. I just crowdsource this and just have everybody send me their team ideas? Just DM me and then I can pick one. <laughs> it seems like a good idea. Um no, but I don't know. I, my final thoughts is, woo, Heroclix is back. Let's all get excited. It's it's super fun. I've enjoyed playing. I've, this will be my third third WKO, all 300 modern, obviously, because I'm not traveling for sealed. <laughs> That's my opinion. Hey, you know what? I got I got second place with three commons and an uncommon. I am super stoked. You did. That is cool. And did you uh? Did you get, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I was gonna ask what? if do you guys like the the prizing at all. I don't know if we talked about it. Um, no, we didn't talk about the prizing, but I traded my Deadpool the Duck that I won for a Ultron. That's pretty good. That's so. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. He is better than I thought because he can reroll any D6 in an attack. So super senses, blades, impervious. I think someone said he can re-roll a Q or Trelane dice. I'm not sure if that's true. But uh, hmm. it's just anything in the attack is what the power says. So I still don't think it's meta, but that is a really cool effect if that is true. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was happy to... I'm, I'm getting one this week for judging, so... I'm getting one this week for winning. Hey! Oh, we'll gosh. see. <laughs> <laughs> so, what if you decide to play Vulture and Jason plays Vulture and then beats you playing Vulture? Then I will just I will kneel before Jason and kiss his hand. <laughs> <laughs> pictures. We must have pictures. <laughs> well, no. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm not gonna play Vulture. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> What about my vulture eats your whales? How about that? Um, no, they don't break your vulture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't be so sad. Oh, the, the the I would say this. The TK ruling making vulture be able to go turn one is pretty spectacular. Yeah. I, feel, I told you that when he came out. That we had a, a split lip for special. No, yeah. Special. But we weren't able to destroy indestructibles at that point. We couldn't do the Ocarons at that saying. time. Right, yeah. we could do other stuff. You're right. Yeah, I mean, the other stuff is, I get it. Like, I get, I could auto equip a Venom symbiote. Got it. Good. That was that was fine at the time. That's cool. But. Just um, the Ocarons make it over the top, I guess. Yeah, I mean, or a Blood Axe. Or, I mean, I guess if, you know, if I was able to equip Uni with a Remaker Ring. Um, you know, that's cool too, but mm-hmm. yeah, but all right, my final thoughts. Um, I don't know, I had a good time at the two WKOs. I'm looking forward to seeing folks come out this Saturday to Big Bang. Keep an eye out for the new podcast, check out our Facebook page for the giveaway. And thanks everybody for listening to Clicked Off. We'll talk to y'all next time. See ya later.